Okay, why is it that no one can do Sonic shoes correctly? So this is an official Puma Sonic shoe, uh, and you might be saying to yourself, no, no it's not. And you'd be right, and I appreciate you for calling me out of my BS. I, I don't know what this has to do with Sonic. It has a few rings on the back. It got some HUD, some Sonic-y HUD, and a little thing of Sonic. But when someone says I want to buy a Sonic shoe, they don't. They, they probably weren't thinking of this. This looks more like a, a McDonald's Aquafina crossover or something. Now there is a more recent one that came out, and it does actually look like Sonic's shoe. But I can guarantee you, it doesn't have a built-in screen right here and controllers, and you can't play Sonic games on a Sonic shoe. That's what I want from a Sonic shoe. I want it to be a, I want it to be a video game console, so not a shoe at all. So I got a couple things here. I'm gonna put this screen on the shoe. It's a phone as well, so you can take selfies with a shoe. I just think that's really cool. Well, you don't think that's cool? Trying to tell me that wouldn't have gotten you a girlfriend back in school? With some controllers on the shoe? Built into the shoe? Don't tell me it wouldn't. Please, no, not my plans. Of course, to make any shoe cool, you need some LEDs. Some speakers, obviously. So I hired an artist on Fiverr to whip up the alpha version of the shoe here. This is just a concept art. This is like the light coming from the shoe, not hair or anything. We're not gonna make it a hairy shoe. Um, and then I do have also a beta version. This is the newer one. I can guarantee it will look exactly like this in every way. Speakers here, the controllers will be built into the shoe a little bit more than they are here. But realistically, I mean, I'm gonna be painting a shoe with fabric paint. It's gonna look so much more vibrant and better. Now those idiot nerds among you might've noticed that I said shoe instead of shoes. I only have one screen and I wasn't gonna spend another like 80 bucks on another set of Fortnite controllers. So we're just doing the one. You can still wear the other one. I'm not gonna fill this one with poison so you can't wear it. You'll still be able to wear this one. You'll just have to go grab it off the floor. Now first things first, for the sake of customization. What are you looking at? I'm doing, I, 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 I'm doing stuff down here, stupid. You guys are always so, gosh, I'm like mid conversation. You're just like, Bleh. step one of this project is the one. It's the step that I have. I'm always telling people when they like just look in my general direction or even acknowledge my existence. And that is, cut it out. We're going to cut the things we don't need. And what we don't need is these straps. As you can see very clearly on that camera, I'm, I'm doing a really good delicate job of this here. It's absurd that we, we have the kind of technology to where we can make sewing machines and, and we don't have unsewing machines yet. We have to resort to brute force. It's just horse water horse wagon even, maybe even dog water. So I just cut it with scissors like some primitive animal. In order for this to be a solid base to mount this, we're going to have to reinforce it with some of the strongest material I know how to work with, which is cardboard. Oh my gosh, it's not even on yet. No, I have to wait too, I hate waiting. Uh, while we're waiting, we can catch up a little bit. I know a lot of people have been dying to know what my opinion was on, on the Sonic Movie 2. That's what it's called, the Sonic Movie 2. I haven't seen it, I've been making shoes. I'm making shoes, I've been sucking on fabric, eating shoes, what do you expect from me? Now in order to hook this phone up to the speakers, it needs to have one of these plugged into it. This is what we call in the industry, a cord. You didn't think there'd be this much algebra involved. You probably thought I was too stupid to think of these things. I don't blame you. You're mean, but I don't blame you. So we're gonna do something like this. This part here will be the bezel. We need to fold it in half like so and hold it down like this until it reaches a point that we in the industry call dry. It's just gonna be okay. Please don't complain. Everything's gonna be all right. You're seething right now. It's all right. Relax, little buddy. There's a little quip me and my fellow colleagues at Apple used to have back in the day when we were making phone shoes like this. We'd be doing this exact step in the job. And we would, <laughs> we'd do the, we'd do the, uh, you're putting a bezel, you're trying to put bezel on a phone? You're trying to put a bezel on a, you're putting a bezel? Well, I mean, one thing I've always said is, good morning. When, I'm, when I see someone in the morning. I've always said that. It's all just making sure that all the, f the folds and glue points are just hidden where you can't see them is all. It's like a little tip for like some of you amateurs out there looking to get into this sort of thing. It's sometimes you find a lot of really unsupportive people if you're trying to get into this stuff and I'm just, you know, I don't, I don't think it's okay. I don't think it's cool to be mean. I don't think I'm saying anything substance. I think I'm just autopiloting commentary because I'm busy 
But really, no, seriously though, I, I really do think that bad things are bad. I'm a lot like you guys in that sense. I'm just one of you. You know, I'll know, I know I'll be persecuted for thinking that, but that's what I really think and I'm not gonna hide from it. Not anymore. Here's the other side, we'll scrape off some of that hockey once it dries. Yeah, I mean, we used to do this all the time. I don't know why you'd be surprised that it looks so solid. We being me and the demons in my, in my soul. <clears throat> Now next is the controls, and if you look over at the prototype there... Unable to launch the Java Update Installer. That's okay, we can deal with that later. One controller will be here, inside the shoe, not sticking out two and a half inches like I'm some kind of moron. And this one will be secured here like this. So it's almost going to be like an N64 controller, you're going to kind of hold it like this in some really wacky mannerism. And normally, there be like as you're playing it, there'd be someone wearing it too. So you just kind of, you can kind of picture that if you want. You don't have to. So you're gonna want to cut a hole like this. Now I know it probably hurts to watch me just chop into this expensive, beautiful piece of of fashion. But trust me, this will be very worth it. All right, hole in shoe. I get those all the time out golfing. Before we throw this thing in here, it does need to be painted a certain color. I am not doing this on camera. In fact, one might say I might do it off camera. Goodness gracious me. Here they are. Turned out pretty good for the most part. Funny little fun fact about this. I actually did record the process of painting these and did do it on camera, but I'm simply choosing not to show you. And the fact that you fell for that prank is actually outrageous. You're so stupid. You've just been acting really entitled lately and I thought you needed to be put back in your place. I'm like those uh, those memes, like with the pet and it says like, oh, you're, you've been doing great lately. You're very meaningful to someone. Except I'm like the opposite, pretty much. So, with these done, you'll have to excuse the cord, I'm charging my shoe, but we're going to have to cut a slot to put this in. Well, that ruined the moment and I don't feel like recording anymore. Alright, you notice I'm at a different location, with all my toothbrushes, with some awesome audio quality in the background. Good job with that basic usage of, of your human senses. Congratulations for noticing that. Well, we're here because we're gonna do some, the ancient art of shoe chiseling. We gotta cut this hole out here for the controller. Basically, we're just doing what my grandfather taught me, his grandfather taught him. And we're gonna be chiseling into the shoe. It is a lost art. There's not many people doing this sort of thing nowadays. You can get electric shoe, sh shoe chis, shoe, ch shoe chiselers on Amazon, but I like the old fashioned way, doing it by hand, just like our founding fathers intended. Why did they think it would be fashionable to have the text, like a description of the shoe on the shoe? I'm just gonna take and very carefully, uh, I haven't done this in a while. My electric shoe chiseler is working fantastically. Let's just get that crust out of there. <laughs> There's shoe in my esophagus. Oh yeah, it looks like it's supposed to be there. And I'll tell you, in all my years of doing this, it's kind of hard to get a video game controller to look like it's supposed to be on a shoe. But we gotta make a little bit of a divot here. I'll just play the footage of me cutting this silently and I'll, I'll overlay maybe like a funny joke or quip that I thought up uh, for commentary uh, in post. All right, so a guy walks into a burning volcano and he says, ah! <laughs> I'm just laughing because now we're gonna paint the shoe. All right. You like that little bit? I think it would've made more sense if it made any sense. Back part's gotta be red. Front part's gotta be red. Middle part's gotta be white. See, I think that'll work pretty well here. As you can see, I gotta be really precise here. I don't wanna get any red where it's not supposed to be. And that's gonna require an amount of skill. How much? Mm, an amount. And so, because of the amount of skill needed, I am going to have to 
shut up and be careful doing it, so. So enjoy a painting time lapse, and don't pull any funny pranks on me where you don't enjoy it, or something like that. That'll really throw me for a loop, and I'm not ready. Oh, I got paint on my desk. Painting is done. It actually did not turn out too bad at all. Could be better, but the shoe will be carried by the fact that it has a smartphone and controllers on it. Now, I did want these originally to be red. I think they look better as white. <sighs> actually, I straight up didn't want to paint these. They're glossy and smooth, and it'd be a hassle to do, and I'd, and I'd get paint inside the speaker. I just straight up didn't want to do it, and I think that's okay on occasion if maybe I just don't do something because I don't want to do it. Like, there doesn't have to always be an alternative reason to every little thing that I do in these videos. So I'm sure you've noticed that my, my, my little crimpers are broken. I squeezed them so hard, I kid you not, I snapped the blade off with my bare hands and just want to brag about it, so... This adapter goes to this. You might notice there's two speakers, so I got one of these. So there's like a good bit of engineering to these shoes, in fact, that maybe you didn't notice and maybe, maybe should be appreciated. I'm just really full of myself today, aren't I? I'm gonna drill little holes for the cords to go through. This here is a shoe drill by the brand Skill. You can get these anywhere. Just type in shoe drill. Yeah. <laughs> and we're just gonna kind of shove all these cords in here. Now I could take the time to kind of push them up somewhere or underneath some of the fabric to make the shoe more comfortable. Because you know, a lot of people, you, you hate that when you get like a little pebble in your shoe or something and then you're just uncomfortable for an infinite amount of time. But I actually, I kind of like that. Like there's something fun to play with in your shoe. Um, a little something for you to do, you know, like it's not uncomfortable. It's just, it's just fun and you don't know what fun is. So we're going to leave that in there as a little toy for people to play with. Probably someone who watches my videos actually named Nelly, and I've been calling you out for many videos. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Man, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> Am I missing? I'm missing something. Oh. Let me clear this area off, because this is it right here. I'm about to, this is gonna be it. You're about to see. Sorry to all the blind viewers in the audience, I cannot promise you sight. I just meant that people are gonna see the finished product here. <laughs> I mean, the LEDs are a bit much, so I just shoved them on the inside. But this is the better Sonic shoe, indisputably. Could be more white on it, but I think it's a little more punk rebel the way it is. There's just a rave going on inside of it. Obviously, you can just hold it and play it like this. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys don't believe me in that, so I'm actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test it for you guys. Sega! Whoa! That's a Sonic game. Enter your age, why? Is this an adult game now? 99. You're gonna steal my data, Sonic 2? Sonic 2 for the Genesis? You didn't even know what data was back in those days. I do like that. I'm okay with that. You can have my data. I don't care. Sell my soul. My shoe's playing Sonic. <laughs> oh. All right, that was a test. I'm sorry, do you want to watch me play Sonic 2 on a shoe? Do you think anything funny can come of that besides the fact that I'm doing that? This is it. That's what we did. All right, I'm sure a lot of you guys are real eager to see me put this thing on. You want, me to, you want to see me test it out for real? Put it on. You're weird. Nope. And so I poop sometimes when I'm lying in bed.